pretty hard to differentiate. And a lot of us, we got brushed off because some people think we're exaggerating our pain. So it's pretty hard to determine who has a normal period pain and who has a period pain that's related to endometriosis. So this is our concern when it comes to even diagnosing uh, young females with endometriosis. Okay, painkillers definitely help in some way, but uh, it's not a long-term solution. What happens here is a lot of females tend to be dependent on painkillers, and uh, after it starts to wear us off, you know, then we will have a problem because there's nothing else that will work. So a lot of these females would take and look for other alternatives. So basically, it is just to suppress the symptoms, not really to cure the condition. Okay, it really depends on each individual. Like in my case, I can only speak on my behalf. Okay, in my case, basically, the longer I have this condition, the worse it gets. You know, there were days where it's like pain all the time throughout the day. And sometimes it's pain before period, during period, after period. So in my case, it became worse because I'm actually stage 4 endometriosis. But there are a lot of females who are stage 1, stage 2, stage 3. And the unique part about this condition is there are some females who are stage 1, but uh, yet they, they have very bad pain. And then there are females who are stage 4 and they have very mild pain. So this is the confusing part about this condition. Mm -hmm. Even if you speak to a doctor, they're a bit, uh, it's a bit hard for them to determine uh, at what level were you able to conceive and you know whether you're, whether you'll be successful in conceiving. This, this is a big issue, actually. Okay. It all depends on the severity of the condition. And of course, your doctor is the best person to decide what would be the best solution. Okay, well, it's not necessary that surgery helps in any way, you know. In my case, I have done many surgeries, but what I realized is due to all these surgeries, I would have lesions and adhesions, you know, more problems, more pain. But sometimes surgery does help to clear uh, what's inside the uterus, and definitely it will help in some way uh, when you are trying to conceive. So surgery, I wouldn't say it's a solution. But there are, of course, other methods, like uh, doctors will prescribe uh, hormone treatments. And some of these hormone treatments actually depends on the individual, whether they are able to uh, uh, accept or take this, the, the side effects, because a lot of these hormonal treatments have side effects. So in my case, uh, we do, I do take something. Uh, it's solely on uh, treating uh, endometriosis. But Again, it depends on who you're dealing with. You know, some females can take it, some females cannot take it, some females the side effects can be tremendous. So uh, it all depends on the individual and what they, uh, how they react towards the medication. Come and join us to understand the condition and of course it's a very good platform for you to deal with other females with endometriosis.